Forming New Habits Using the Three R's The best way to form a new habit is to use the three R's neurological loop. Again, this is a three-step process like the breaking of a bad habit we discussed in the last video. But there are some differences. It is best to explain how this works through the use of an example. Let's just say that you eat pretty healthily, but you are not getting enough exercise. You don't want to join a gym and you have the space to exercise at home. You like swimming and bike riding, so you want to include this into your new routine. You want to turn all of this into a new habit. Step 1. Start with a reminder. You are aware that remind is one of the three R's and an important part of the habit-forming process. The reminder is the trigger for you to perform your routine that will later become the new habit. Reminders need to be strong and not based on memory or willpower as these are not reliable. What a lot of people will do is to create a daily plan over the next week or two for their new habit. The plan is written in the form of a list that the individual carries around with them. They believe that this is a good enough reminder to take action. While a list like this might work for some people, it is unlikely to work for everyone. If for some reason you forget to do something on the list one day, then this can compromise the whole thing. People often get caught up in other things and forget. You cannot always rely on willpower either. Here is a better method. Take a piece of paper and divide it into two columns. In the top left, write the heading Existing Habits, and in the top right, Daily Occurrences. Write in the left-hand column all the things that you always do each day. In the right-hand column, write the things that happen in your life each day that you don't have control of. Existing habits. Bathe, clean your teeth, get dressed, eat breakfast, wash the dishes, make dinner. Daily occurrences. Neighbors play loud music. Traffic on the way to work. Managers review meeting. To create a strong reminder, you want to associate it with an item on the list that you are in control of. So, for example, when you get dressed, you can lay out your clothes for your exercise session. By setting a reminder in this way, you never have to rely on remembering or willpower. You are always going to get dressed in the morning. Now you need a new routine. Step 2. Make a new easy routine. It is important that you do not make your new exercise routine too complicated to begin with. If you do this, then it will be a lot more likely that you fail and procrastinate over your new routine. So, start off with some gentle stretching exercises that you can do when you wake up in the morning, for example. You can add some simple exercises to this that you can easily do at home, such as planks, lunges, dips, etc. These will help you to build up your strength and endurance, preparing you for more intense workouts later on. Tweak this until you get it right. If you set an exercise routine that is too tough for you each day, then tone it down. Conversely, if it is too easy, then take it up a notch. The establishment of the new routine is more important than the exercises, particularly in the early stages of habit formation. So, make the routine as easy as you can. Step 3. Use rewards and celebrate. Having a positive reward associated to your new routine will make it a whole lot easier to perform each day. So you need to come up with a reward system that is going to provide you with the necessary motivation to persist with your new routine. What do you really enjoy that is simple and easy to implement? If you are on a healthy diet, then you probably can't eat some of the foods that you really enjoy. What if you can have a small piece of chocolate as a reward for completing a week of your new routine, for example? Another example could be that you reward yourself with a massage or a bubble bath. You know the simple things in life that you really enjoy, so think about these and decide on your reward system. The system must contain rewards that you will really look forward to so that you keep on going with your new exercise routine even when you don't feel like it. You should create a reward system that gets better over time. So, there is a simple reward for week one, a slightly better reward for week two, and so on. Think about the 21-day factor and the 66-day factor here and structure your reward system to celebrate these milestones. Do not treat the reward step lightly. The best way to form a new habit is to continually repeat a new routine. So put every effort into motivating yourself to start and finish the routine each day. In the next video, we will look at how you can change your life for the better with the power of habits. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.